Okay, today I'll be talking about computer upgrades and uh, what is the best uh, way to go about it. So, for example, let's say you had a uh, second generation or third generation i7 or i5, right? Uh, then, depending on the model, um, let's say you had a i7 2600K, the CPU itself would be would still be pretty good, you know. That's for a second generation i7 uh, to 2600K is probably the best CPU you can get for that. However, a lot of those computers back then didn't come with SSDs. So, what you could do is you could just simply buy an SSD. And SSDs these days aren't a lot of money. Like the Samsung uh, SSD. 860 EVO, 500 gigabytes. It's it's not a lot of money from which you can see, right? Or this Western Digital one, it's even less than that one. So, just by improving, just by replacing your mechanical hard drive with an SSD, you could really improve the performance of your computer, and it, it really didn't cost very much, you know. And another thing you could um, upgrade would be you could probably get a bigger hard drive, you know, for your computer. See how much hard drives are. You could put a Western Digital 3 terabyte hard drive as like a secondary hard drive to increase your storage space and as you can see they're not they're not a lot of money even the four terabyte isn't that much money you could add a hard drive you know bigger hard drive or if, depending on what you need you could add two large capacity hard drives and you could um, probably add more RAM. Let's say you only have 8 gigabytes of RAM in your i7 2600K. So you have 8 gigabytes and 4 slots and you could just I think those are DDR3s. You could just buy like Four, four gigabyte RAM pieces, you know, like this one right here. You could send you this. Double your um, hard drive. I mean, your memory capacity. You know, from eight to sixteen. And 16 gigabytes of RAM is still pretty, uh, it's adequate, you know. You'd be able to r still run a lot of applications with 16 gigabytes of RAM on a Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. So let's say you want to upgrade your computer. Of people 
getting ready for 4th of July so you can hear fireworks. So for about less than, um, for about under $300 you could, you could have a pretty updated system if you just upgraded your hard drive. If you upgraded your main hard drive to SSD and upgraded your memory, or you could also get a graphics card, you know, depending on the graphics card you have. Let's say you have a a GeForce uh, GTX 670 or something, which is pretty old. You could get a more modern graphics card like a GeForce GTX. Um, a 1070 or something, a 1060. Yeah. Something like this, for example. about that price you could for about five hundred dollars you could get a pretty you could have a pretty modern system and play games on it you know because when you play games it's mostly dependent on the GPU or the graphics card three gigabytes isn't enough I mean if you want to get a pretty decent modern graphics card I would recommend at least six gigabytes I think the I think the best value that you you could get for a GeForce GTX card would probably be the GTX um, 1660 Ti. That would be the best deal you could get. The, the best value. Let's see how much this costs. You got all those things, let's say. Tax and everything. For about five hundred and seventy dollars, you could have a pretty up-to-date computer with a GeForce GTX sixteen sixty Ti, and it'd still be a heck of a lot cheaper to buy a new computer because if you have to buy a new computer, you have to get a new. CPU. You need to get a new motherboard. And you may you may have to get a new uh, case and everything else. And you also have to put it together, which is the hassle. And uh, just by getting an upgrade like this, you could extend the life of your computer for a couple more years. And Let's say you had a um, a third generation i5, let's say. Then let's say it was a lower end i5. And what you could do is you could get a a very high end i7. Let's say you your board supports a i7 377. 0K, which is the best processor for this third generation, uh, for your third generation motherboard. So, I would get the i7 3770K, 
That's what I would get. That would cost about $198. Plus tax. And I would, let's say I have um, 8 gigabytes in that computer. And of course I would get the RAM. And I would get the SSD. Let's say I didn't want 4 terabytes. Let's say I just wanted 2 terabytes. get a graphics card as well. Whoops. $800 you could modernize your computer you'd have a new CPU you'd have more RAM you'd have SSD a larger hard drive whoops I added it twice sorry about that about 750 bucks you could have a fairly up-to-date computer you'd have the best you'd have a pretty powerful CPU 16 gigabytes of RAM SSD a larger hard drive a pretty good GPU And you could use your computer for probably several, a couple of more years, you know. So you, there's really no need to buy a new computer if you have an old one. Because the performance of uh, even third generation computers is still pretty good. I'm still using a third generation i5 3570K uh, 3.4 gigabytes gigahertz base computer with a uh, I'll show you the specs on it on my computer so does this computer has um, 24 gigabytes of RAM like I said, the processor is a 3570K. And, uh, let's see. That's the CPU. Uh, the graphics card is a GeForce GTX 1070. Which I upgraded to, like, about two years ago. I added a much better graphics card. I also added a SSD to this computer quite recently and also a Blu-ray player which you see right here so 
yeah, so I recently upgraded to a Samsung SSD 860 EVO 500 um, gigabyte uh, SSD. Um, I bought it like two two months ago, and um, this computer is still, as a result of the upgrade, I'm still using it. But I do have better computers. I do have like a i7 4790K also. That also has the SSD. It has less memory than this computer. It only has 16 gigabytes. Um, a larger hard drive. A pretty decent graphics card, a GeForce GTX 970. And this one has a 1070, so in terms of games, I could run games much better on this computer. And I'm, I really don't have any complaints about it. You know, I'm, I'm happy with, with my computer right now. I, the only thing I plan to upgrade is, uh, is the operating system. I plan to get Windows. Um, 10 professional. I don't have to buy it. I mean, I already have the copy of Windows 7, so I'm just going to upgrade it. You could still upgrade um, to Windows 10. They said that the deadline was like 2016 or something that you could upgrade to Windows 10 from previous versions of Windows, like Windows 7 or Windows 8. But that's not true. You could still um you can still upgrade to Windows 10. That, that's what I plan to do with this computer, probably by the end of the year. Because uh, I do a lot of work on this computer, so I don't want to, like, mess everything up. So that's why I'm still using Windows 7 on it. But yeah, so I really didn't see a need to buy a new computer. I could if I wanted to, but there's no need. So if push comes to shove, I'm probably going to buy a new um, CPU for it and replace my So I'm probably going to replace this with that and just add um, better operating, a more a modern operating system when uh, Windows 7 is no longer supported and I would probably use this computer for maybe another um, three years, four years. Um, I bought this computer back in um, 2013, around the middle of 2013, like, like June, I think, with this CPU. And initially, I only had like 8 gigabytes on it, but I added more RAM, I added more hard drives, I have like uh, 6 hard drives on this computer, no, I'm sorry, that's not a hard drive, that's an SSD, so I have uh, 5 hard drives on this computer, a uh, SSD, a 1 terabyte hard drive, uh, let's see, three one terabyte hard drives and a two terabyte hard drive, which I recently added like two months ago at the same time when I upgraded my, um, upgraded to a SSD. So that's what I did. So, yeah, so you, I mean, if you feel a need to like get a new computer you can but I just don't think it's necessary but it's up to you but um, I'll just uh, those are my thoughts okay thanks for watching